Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. Yes, I'm having to wear a toboggan because of that right there. This is a video response for Alley Cat. She had sent me a message and asked me how expensive is it to get involved and get into... Okay. <laughs> man down, man down. This is a video response to Alley Cat who had asked me how expensive would it be to get started basic into hydroponics. And I started talking, uh, I've done a video on it already, and I looked and it was like 35 minutes and I was like, holy cow, nobody's gonna watch that crap. Anyway, it is very inexpensive to get started into hydroponics. If you want to do cracky hydroponics, uh, you can do something as simple as a mason jar and uh, Alley Cat, this was something I had mentioned uh, in the previous half hour video, but it's something as simple as a nutrient filled uh, reservoir with a net pot, a plastic container, a peat pot, and then something to block out sunlight because sunlight is the enemy of nutrient when you're doing, uh, any, well, any kind of hydroponics, uh, Kratky or NFT or, or, or whatever, ebb and flow, whatever it is you want to do. Now, I've got that set up and we will have it to where it will probably germinate seven to 10 days. And uh, I put in uh, marigold seeds in that. Marigold is a fantastic uh, pollinator and will bring in a lot of beneficial insects to help pollinate all these guys. Because ultimately, you know, you could put it outside. You can do hydroponics outside, not just inside in a basement, you know, not like I, I do. Now, what's the expensive stuff about hydroponics? The lights. The lights are gonna be expensive. I use Barina lights because they are fairly affordable. There are a million different types of lights and combinations of lights. Uh, with different wavelengths. I like Verena, it gives you a good average. Uh, blue and red uh, for uh, um, for growth and then for uh, production. So think of it that way. It's a really good combination and you won't be disappointed. Uh, you can get the four foot lights for six of them for 50 bucks, which is dang good in my opinion. Um, or you can get the two foot ones, depending on how you have your system set up, how you have everything set up. And so that is probably gonna be your most expensive investment. A lot of people say also, oh my God, I can't believe you, you, you run these lights all the time, you're killing the polar bears, you're gonna melt the ice caps and make the baby polar bears fall into the water. No, no we're not, because this uses electric less electricity than a television. So if you're concerned about the baby polar bears, turn your TV off, quit watching that crap. These lights, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that I have going on, burn less juice than my, what is it, 75 inch television uh, flat screen I've got upstairs in my den. I don't watch that stuff, my wife does, she likes that stuff. But the light is going to be your biggest expense. So you'll have to have some hardware for hanging, some chain for hanging. You can get, get as exotic or as plain as you want to with that. You need some sort of reservoirs. You need some sort of chemical. Um, I like, uh, what am I using right now? Southern Ag Power Pack 2020 water soluble. And I'm also using uh, magnesium sulfate, which is Epsom salt. And I'm using also... Uh, General Hydroponics liquid kelp full of uh, micronutrients and everything. Um, those are going to be kind of pricey, but they last a very, very long time. Now, what do you put it in? Really, whatever you want to. You can do it in mason jars, the net cups. You can buy these net cups here. And I'm trying to do this quick because I'll end up doing a 30-minute video again. These net cups, these are two-inch net cups. They make three-inch, four-inch, whatever size you need, really. 
as you go up in size, you go up in price. Uh, you can get uh, 50 of these for 25 or 30 bucks. Um, I have 100, and that will probably last me the rest of my life. Um, now, uh, you can trim them down. Uh, send me an email or a message, and I'll show you how to trim these down because you don't, if you're transplanting outside, you don't want to have these fully uh, meshed because they will uh, damage your root system on your plant that you go in. Now, on to the next thing. Nutrient. Um, there are all kinds of different websites you can get nutrient information from. You can order it from the Honest Goodness places. When I was trying to get it, uh, because of the shortages, there was none out there. So I went to uh, uh, FSU, Florida State University, and got a cocktail of how to uh, prepare it uh, from there. And I have it included in uh, my notes that, that I used to work on. I keep a, a uh, growing log all the time of, of what I'm doing and what I'm doing and what's working and what's not working. Again, we're going fast on this. Uh, these tanks here are cement mixing tanks. Very, very thick, blacked out, so we don't get a lot of light penetration through it. These are anywhere from 9 to 11 gallons, depending on how much you fill them. And uh, you can see the root system that I have growing. People say, well, you, you might be growing uh, stuff in here, but it, it has no... Uh, honest to goodness, nutrient value, I beg to differ because we have bacteria growing. This is a natural system once you set this into place and leave it alone. It works fantastic. You will grow greens and things that you will never be able to use or eat anywhere else because your harvest to table time is about 15 minutes. That's including washing whatever these greens are. Um, so that's really, it's really fantastic. As far as starting plants, I've got uh, 7, 14, 21, 28, 300 uh, that, that I'm starting in a quasi-hydroponics uh, solution. And then if they become sickly or problematic, they go to the next honest-to-goodness hydroponics solution. And you can see, well, I've got over there in the corner, I've got a four-foot uh, tomato plant that's over a year old that I started in the hydroponics, put it outside, brought it back inside. Does it work? Absolutely, it works like a freaking dream. Um, I got basil that's a year old. I have pepper plants that are over a year old. Uh, you know, it's it's really good. Alicat, it is not a problem at all. You can go as expensive as you want or as cheap as you want. I like the cheap side. Learn as you go, buy really good stuff occasionally as you need to, and then, you know, do your upgrades as you need to. It is not hard to get started in this. Um, uh, you nutrient, uh, uh, they're gonna say you need uh, uh, an AC meter and check specific gravity. No, you don't, you really don't. Um, mix the stuff up as it's recommended, pour it in, Use warm water to dissolve everything, pour it in, mix it up. If it doesn't work, tweak it and adjust it. You're not on a space station trying to get this perfect and you don't have only one try. So unless you want to spend 40 or $50 on a nice EC meter or uh, uh, you, you know something to check a specific gravity, don't, you don't really need to. Um, is it fun to have and know and make notes? Absolutely, it's fun. And I geek out on the tech part of it. But you don't need it. Uh, you really don't. You don't need a pump. You don't need aeration. But it's really good if you do. And uh, pump and aeration for 30 bucks for two tanks, it will go a long way. And it will blow your mind how well it works. Um, what else? Uh, temperature. Try to keep it at, you know, in the high 60s or low 70s as far as liquid nutrient temperature um, because the plants seem to thrive better on a warmer solution. They think it's spring. Think of it like that. I have a timer set up on mine. I do 14 hours on. I do 10 hours off for lighting. 
for the uh, the aeration, I, which I just put in this past weekend. Um, I do 30 minutes on, 30 minutes off, 24-7, all the way through. And, and again, you know, how can you justify using all this electricity? All the poor bears are, are falling through the ice. Please, you, you know, quit, quit playing your Xbox if you're concerned about that. Um, do they still have Xboxes? Fortnite. I'll say, quit playing Fortnite if you're concerned about the polar bears. Um, but that is about it. I am, uh, you, like I said, you can get as technical as you want. Uh, you can do it a relaxed version. Either way, I'm doing this to, to start my stuff early, to go outside, and then I'm doing really good nutrients for myself, my family, my parents, and people in my group just to grow high quality greens, a really good abundance of nutrients. Grow your nutrients, purchase your protein. Think of it that way, or raise your protein outside. It's already at 10 minutes, I'm trying to keep it down below freaking half hour again. There's so much more we could talk about. Uh, if you have any questions, email me. Any of you guys, email me, uh, mayhemcountryliving at gmail.com, or post it below, and you know we'll get together, something like that. If I can do this, anybody can do it. I've been doing it a little under a year now. I, I am blown away by the success I've had with it. Take care of you people, guys.